two, one, live. You're now watching Two Old Farts Making Noises. Ooh, and we're back. <laughs> that and was quick. Back to, that's, that's a good promo. And here's it's So for the people that think they see us now every fortnight, and they're still doing the math on that, we have now made No Snobs or Knobs, due to its popularity, a weekly show. Mm. So with, oh. its host, oh. with its host, Morton, and uh, the oh. ad hoc guy. But the nice thing is, is that we have Roll from Vaguely True, and the other, or Vaguely News as well. Um, and the other nice thing is that we'll have other people on our show throughout the weeks. So you'll get different opinions and different topics. So hopefully everybody will enjoy that. And it seems to be a show everybody likes. So, Stephen, yes. Stephen we, we, we can still call it half a fortnight. Right. It's a half a fortnight. We do the show every half a fortnight, every, <laughs> on, every half fortnight on Saturdays. Yes. Half a fortnight. I like that. Just to, just to keep the, you know. The Americans. Uh, just to keep the, the non-Europeans and the non-Asian. Yeah. yeah. So it's at half yeah. a fortnight. So now they're really screwed up because they have to look up Fortnite and they think it's a game. Then they go to half a and fortnight. Half. They're not sure what yeah. it is. It's the whole thing. Yeah. So that's never heard like about that. we'll half a fortnight. A yeah. half a fortnight. And hopefully next week I'll have scotch and cigars with me again. But since I have meetings later today, I have to be somewhat sober. So, yes, Mr. Roll. Ah. Oh, no, I was just saying, yes, you do. Yes, you yes, do. I, right. Yes, I do. Um, make, makes the show much more entertaining. So what are we going to discuss today? I know we had a topic we discussed yesterday, that not on the show, but off, the sh off air. So I know Mr. Woods has something he wants to have a discussion with. Oh, there's always something up, isn't there? Uh, well, there's a lot going on here, but I don't think people want to hear about that. Um, um, all the rugby and the... Corruption. I don't, I don't think anybody knows what rugby is in America. I mean, like, I know what it is, and I watch games, and I know the World um, Rugby League is doing a whole I bunch of stuff. Surprised. I think you'd be surprised. Really? Way back in the day when I got my uh, first work visa for the U.S., my immigration attorney uh, specialized in green cards for rugby players from South Africa. Wow. So, yes, there is... And he was familiar with the national team for the U.S. I think they're called the yeah. Eagles. Um, and no, it's not huge. I mean, obviously, uh, NFL, football, whatever. NFL football, um, not football, football. Um, right. It's huge in the U.S. And that kind of dominates basketball. You've got, you got football and you've got basketball and, and everything else just goes by the wayside. But I think, I think, if the U.S. actually got into rugby, they would. And a lot of people do. There are a lot of people who enjoy America. It's like, it, 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 it could be big. I don't know. It could be great if they did. It's, right. uh, it's a real game. <laughs> well, like but it, 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 it is. I'm just kidding. It's, yeah. it's quite noble, isn't it? Uh, you, you have to be a sir or... Uh... Uh, in, 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 in the old times, or am I taking wrong? Maybe it's a, oh, it's a no, no, noble game, yeah. No, no, it's a savage game, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know <laughs> it's, it's gotta be a savage to actually play it, yeah. so that was yeah. that was well, gonna be a savage. I think it was invented, no. I think it was invented for, uh, for the children of very rich people that went to private yeah. schools and yeah. who, who weren't yeah. very intelligent. Yeah. But extremely Jeez. violent, oh and so God. they decided to invent invent a game so that they could be, you know, violent yeah. in a game and well, still be at school. If I may say, uh, the the legend goes. I've never really bothered to check this, but apparently it's true. I don't know. Uh, this guy called William Webb Ellis, whatever his name was, was playing Ellis, uh, football yeah. for people who don't know what football is, and he got bored and he picked up the ball and he ran with it and he dotted it on the other side's. Um, End line, if you like, right. touch line, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, and then that's that it, it developed into something. It's a relatively new sport, 
Um, is it, is it not this week? Is, this week, I think, is the anniversary, is it not, of, uh, of rugby? Uh, uh, rugby. I, I was thinking another sport. Forget it. I'm I'm way off. You're thinking you think about cross, polo? You? Or polo. We, polo. Polo used to be for the nobles. Yeah, polo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you a really cool sport. When I lived in Australia, I got to watch Aussie football. That is a cross between our football, Stupid. European football, and rugby. And that oh. is just a game where you can yeah. beat each other up. No. That is an awesome game. No. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's like throwing it's throwing out sport. time at a pub with rules, isn't it? If you know what I mean. No, yeah, it's basically, stupid. it's all three sports with no rules. <clears throat> it's great. You know I love yeah. it. You know the stupidest part about Aussie rules? The yeah. ref. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And it's all yeah. these cut-off tops and little shots that went out in the 70s. Oh, and keep it. Well, love you, Australia. But no, you can yeah. keep it. All right, well, here, if you, I, think you, Aussie, if you think Aussie football... Then I have a new back now, Rold. If you have it, you're never going back. Um, if you think Aussie football is stupid, how about curling? About oh, curling, what? yeah. Curling, curling, the winter sport I curling, see. where the guys have the broom and they sweep yeah. and they have the this that's... Yeah, well, can okay. I tell you, you know, that's the only thing that I watch during the Winter Olympics, because to me it's the funniest sport. And I'm sure there's an art to it, but... Well, I may be. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'll probably be able to tell us, but if you're in the middle of nowhere and you're three foot deep in snow, um, yeah. what, what else you, what else you going to do? Um, so, curling, cur curling is wonderful. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I told you. Wow. There we go. I love it. You get I love curling it. iron out Depends and off you Depends on the environment. Depends on the environment. If you yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, but I, technically I think, speaking, it's always clean, isn't it? makes more sense. I think mean, Norway makes sense in in Africa. No, not at all. No, 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 no. no. Okay. No. I, I see mean, it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it big in Africa. I see curling very big in Africa. Curling in Africa. Curling in yeah. Africa. Yeah. Right. With all the ice that yeah. they yeah. have. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, they could no. they could do it on they could do it on sand. Technically speaking, a thin layer of very fine sand. Really, and, uh, how would it slide? Yeah, throw, throw, yeah. How would it slide? Carefully. On top of the very, like on top of the on the thin layer of sand. No. Uh, let's go no, into what our show is really noted for <laughs> politics. <laughs> Donald, I think we, Donald. We, we, we beat the we beat up we beat we beat that horse on that on sports. So let's go into we were talking yesterday, Roll and I about, yes. well, about cricket. We haven't got we haven't covered cricket yet. That's, that's <laughs> let's take it off to the US. That actually is the largest. Like that is the largest sport globally, according yes, to the we have a lot. We have we have a lot of fans in what India, is. so we have to. Oh, well, and and, 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 and in fact, so we have to. Like cricket. I love it cricket, is? and I wouldn't agree with that at all. I don't think it is football by a mile. Cor the largest no, no. sport. Uh, the largest sport, according Watch to the Financial probably. Times and something I read a couple yeah. weeks ago, is cricket. Followed by fo you, real football, football, not U.S. football. I would okay. I would respectfully ah, bullshit. I don't, okay. Really? Then football. That's what it said. That's what it yeah. said. I didn't. I didn't like do the survey, so I I didn't okay. ask like seventeen billion people if they like cricket. But if you think about cricket. it, India, it's India's got happy. a couple a couple billion people. They all watch cricket. That surpasses yeah. pretty much everything. Um, you know. On the mm. NFL Super Bowl, the best they they get a billion viewers. Cricket gets one to two billion viewers every time they have a match on the planet. South America, um, South America football, boom, right there, whole continent, Europe football, boom. I'm just saying, Africa, yeah, I would say football against I, India. I, I, I have to India. stop cricket. you because you know I've I've been googling it and uh, it's football, okay. soccer. Soccer, okay. three point five billion fans, okay, and two hundred and forty million re registered players. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but what about some, cricket? But what about cricket? Like cricket yeah. uh, I'm uh, going. Uh, cricket is number oh, two. Okay. Oh, number two. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, it's good to have a good number two every now and again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, Thanks, number Dave. three is. No, number three is hockey. Really? Which, yeah. Which one? Uh, Which both, one? Bo both together. 
collective yes. collective hockey. The one we played call, on sand and yeah. the other played on ice. We yeah. call hockey here is the one you play on the field, and then there's ice hockey. Whereas in the US, it's yeah, the other way around. Field, ho- yeah. field hockey. Yeah, field hockey. We have field, we have field hockey, hockey, and we have yeah. which one? Yeah. They which they one? have done uh, they have done both in in one category. So uh, okay. 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 Yeah. That's just to let you know if there's not enough. Right excuse me. That's just to let you know there's not enough. What you would call it? Um, people playing the one sport. <laughs> it's like there's not enough people playing hockey. You have to combine the two. But I am happy to. Yeah, hear yeah. Number two. I like cricket. Cricket's a good game. It's good right, game. Yeah. Very cool. Me too. Me too. I, I'm happy with I've that. been watching the the, the hundred, which has been really good, and uh, the twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. But the hundred, oh, I was I'm really, really impressed with bash ball. It's it's crazy in there because it's uh it's all these American baseball terminology is coming into cricket. <laughs> so I had to yeah, do that as well. Everybody was talking about bash ball. It's bash ball time. It's bash ball. But, that's, but Dave, Dave, yeah. Um, one of the things that's made cricket in terms of terminology a bit more like uh, baseball is um, the in, in cricket you used to have a batsman. Then, of course, right. there was women's cricket. Now, what do we do? So, it's changed. A bat's now person. You have a bat's person. I'm, oh. I've got to be honest, I, I, I'm still struggling with that. A bat's yeah. I know it's, well, I know it's, I know it's the thing, but. Well, yeah. Okay. If you have fish and chips, it's always in batter, isn't it? I mean, that's. A, right. A, yeah, so, we're not, it's not a bat, bat it's, it's not a bat person then. Oh, is, is, is it is it technically a batter? All I know is wow. baseball in Japan is the best because they have cheerleaders. Ah, oh, yeah. what? Don't have, like the don't have cheerleaders. I only go to the games when I'm in Japan for the cheerleaders. I mean, the games are awesome because the crowd gets into it, and they're real. If they did, there's a, a league here in the United States called the Banana League. Um, and they're kind of like Japanese baseball where, you know, they have a good time and they have fun and all this other stuff. But in Japan, the crowds really get into it. It's almost like, you know, UK football. They're really into it, but they have cheerleaders. And I'm like, I like that. Like I go for the cheerleaders. I'm like, yay, let's, let's watch a little girl. So they cheer. not have that in, in, in the U.S. The for football. Game. We have cheerleaders in football and but, in basketball, but, but we don't have it in baseball. What about ice hockey? Will they have cheerleaders? No, hockey? no, they don't have cheerleaders no. in ice hockey. Where? Where will they be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. soccer, oh, soccer is uh, also growing up in 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 America. Well, yeah. we had football. We call, I call it football, but soccer slash yeah. football slash soccer. We had the Cosmos in New York in the seventies with Pele. So we yeah. had they had a foot they had a they had a soccer slash football league here and never caught on, and it died out. And now all of a sudden, the last couple of years, we have this new league with David Beckham and all. And what's Messi came and this one came. So it's very interesting now to see, you know, if you will, forty years later, this resurgence in football here in the United States. Um, but I think part of it's because back in the '60s and '70s when they tried it. United States was still very much the United States. It wasn't a global population. And I think over the last 40 years, people from all over the world have come here and they yeah. like football, not U.S. football, but football. Um, yeah. And so I think that has a lot to do with it. I've, in the past, I've, like I said, I think it was just a bunch of, you know, we're Americans. We watch football. We watch baseball. We watch hockey. And now it's we're a truly a melting pot. And because of that, I think that's why we see the resurgence in all this stuff. Yes, sir. Two things. One, yeah. uh, what, what's crazy is obviously, you know, I lived for a while and in, in middle school and, and, and elementary school, I mean, soccer, strip football is big. All the kids play it. They get yeah, to high we school played it. And it's gone. It just disappears yeah. in high school. It's the weirdest thing. So I think there's a lot of talent. If the U.S. got into football, um, soccer, or whatever you want to call it, great. That yeah. would be fantastic. Um um, I will say you do know where the word soccer comes from. If you don't, I'm going to explain it to you. I know Dave probably does. Um, anybody who doesn't, used to be called the Football Association, SSOC. That's where soccer comes from. Football, A-S-S-O-C. Oh, that is where soccer actually comes from. So it's not oh, wow. referring yeah. to the sport. It's just a play on the word association. But it still is football. And second of all, I hope more 
I, I'm glad with the international migration to the U.S., maybe you guys can, maybe people will be able to get chutney in a stocking shop. Just saying, I could never get chutney. chutney. Yeah, chutney. Yeah. No, you can't get it. Well, I'm, I'm, buy it. I've, I've, just, I've, I've just Googled that, um, and I'm going to set up a whole, uh, a, a whole bureau of, ch of yeah. uh, cheerleaders for curling because there isn't one. Oh so, my God! Oh, <laughs> that's, you know that's gonna be well, awkward. Oh, oh, gonna roll be awkward. the stone, you know. So, so oh, yeah. that's gonna yeah. be awkward. Just that, don't put a Spanish coat. See, just don't do that. Yeah, don't kiss no. that. Don't kiss the cheerleaders. Apparently, you get fired from a football team when that happens no. after you win a big tournament. No. What do you guys think of that? What did you think of I, that? Did, I thought did, that was. Did just, you, I it thought it was. Did you see the I thought bit it was before stupid. when he when he grabbed his balls? Did you see that? But he's standing yeah, up on the balcony cheering everything. Yeah. yeah. yeah he literally, he, it's, it's one of the, he's grabbed his balls, you know, because he's like a cup, he cupped his scrotum, as they say. You know, it's a way of saying, yeah. you know, you know, it's, it, well, it happens a lot in Europe that people do that. It's a way of saying, okay. well, you know, F you or whatever. So he yeah, was doing that, I think, oh, yeah. after, they okay. after they scored, up yeah. with all the other, uh, all the other VIPs. And then, right. of course, the next, clip that gets cut with that is him um you know getting his tongue down the, the poor poor lady's uh, throat well first of all i don't think he's i don't i don't know if he french kissed her no or time. not i thought he just i thought he just no. kissed her on the lips or something because he was happy and i don't know if she didn't care or cared but i know in all the articles i read they blew it in my opinion out of proportion because if you're happy you just won the championship you gave your person a kiss is, is that you can't do i mean I'm saying, like I said, I don't know. Like, I mean, did he? If he, he tried to French kiss her, yes, that's a problem. But if he just <laughs> grabbed her and gave her a kiss, you know, and he's done, well, who cares? They're he having a big clean out. I'm yeah, sorry. Having a big yeah. Can I, uh, I can ask well, you how come he's the big Spanish boy? He's the big. Yeah. He's the big boy. Yeah, actually, the coach. Big chief. He's the big boy. Yeah. Why yeah. did they fire the coach who helped them win the World Cup? Oh, they had issues with him before. They mm. didn't want to put. Yeah, no, but they didn't want to put. Now get fussed. How does that work? But they've been having they're having issues with him for the last two years with the coach. Okay. Um, All right. Well, so, he also so the player. No, he did, they just they just just didn't like him. So, what what um, what what, what, what kind what kind of sport does uh, Donald Trump uh, do? Golf. Oh, that's a, what a wonderful bridge that is. Straight yeah, on to the yeah, orange yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the orange man. The, the orange man. The orange man plays golf, golf like golf most of us do. I don't know. Yeah. We all play golf. 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 Is that is that really a sport when you uh, no, just? No, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. It's a, it's no, it's, a, a, it's a it's a good way to ruin a good walk. They say. Correct. I like golf. Golf comes. Mm -hmm. I have a good time when I play golf. It's just I go out, but see, I play. Mm -hmm. Caddy shack golf. Well, I play yeah, with myself a lot, quite a bit. Thank you. Um, but I play caddy shack golf. I play. If you never saw caddy shack with Ronnie Dangerfield, I play that golf. I go with my I'm scotch and my cigars, well. and I I'm go candy. and I have a great time. Huh? John Candy. What the, what? No, no, no. Yeah. Caddy shack was with Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, okay. Well, it, I, it would it would seem, Stephen, that any opportunity you have to go anywhere with a glass of whiskey. And a cigar, regardless of what sport yeah, it is, so you, you kind of up for it. So I know. So, and you know, my friend, he's Catholic, and he told me I could go and you watch the guy with the dog collar. And I said, "Can I bring a scotch and a cigar?" And he's like, "No." I go, "Then what's the? There's no entertainment here for me." So, but yeah. you know, well, yeah, it's like yeah, you can go sit in a little cubicle with him. You know, just share. Oh uh, yeah, I saw that little phone booth. It's very cool. But once yeah. again, they don't serve yeah. liquor, and there's not like it's not like they have a selection no. of cigars. It's a waste. Really? I'm Jewish. So I can go to the temple and I can hang out and we can have a menu and we can smoke and drink. But no, but Caddyshack yeah. is how I play golf. I, I started to play golf when I was 16. So I it was about 100 years before the movie. And when Caddyshack came out, we used to play on, that's called the Rolling Hills Country Club Golf Course where they filmed most of it. We played on that course. Um, so I actually played on the golf <laughs> course where they filmed Caddyshack like at least 100 times. And we realized as we were playing golf, after we saw the movie, we all looked at each other and went, we played Caddyshack golf. Like, we're just out there for, it's a good time. We hit the ball. We don't care what our score is. And we're just there for fun. It wasn't like, you know, we're betting or, 
and other people take it so seriously. And I'm like, I still have a yeah, great yeah. handicap and I play well, but these other people, I'm just like, calm down. It's just, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm not on the PGA or now the LIV or whatever they are. I'm just here to like have a good time with my mates. That's it. And if, and sometimes I go and there's no one there. I'll get hooked up with another threesome or a foursome. Or I'll ask if I can just play back nine by myself. And I have a good time. I'm just there. It's just, it's something tranquil about being outside. And you hit the ball and the sound of you hitting the ball. It's just something beautiful about that. And that's it. That's all it is. Yeah, okay. That's the way Grandpa, it should be. calm down. But it brings out the competitive streak oh. in people and get ugly. Oh. I've seen oh, things get sorry. really ugly on golf course. No I, I have no, I have never been well, on the, I've know. never played I've never played golf where it's gotten ugly. I everybody will we'll oh, make fun of each other. If we know everybody, we all make fun of each other. If like you hit a bad shot and you get a mulligan or you do this or you do that. Like we'll all make fun yeah. of each other. But everybody's yeah. just like there for a good time. I I I guess I play I play with people like me. And then right. I've had people that say, Do you want to play? And I'm gonna be like, and I'll ask them, like, so how do you play? I'd be like, oh, very serious. Blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, no, no. I'm I'm not for a good time, and I still can par, or I'll double bogey or bogey a hole. Sometimes I'll get an eagle, but I'm just like, I'm good. I don't yeah, need I've to like. A I have a Macau. You know, Does that make the yes, you do. You should bring it on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. what I'm saying. To me, it's just a very relaxing sport. And when I play for now work, if I play for business, I take it much more seriously. But I still have the same attitude. It's just a game. <laughs> but what I do, oh, but I, it's okay, Dave. And what I do use golf for. Is he still an, talking is, about golf? Yeah. Is he? It's an oh, on, but golf. wait, what I do use golf for. I thought we were honest, talking about is, Donald Trump. But is an on, we will in a second. It's an honest meter. And what I mean by that is I yeah, will count their yeah. strokes. And Rolled if their is, strokes, is, is yeah, yeah, I see that. He's if their strokes, okay, if, okay. There's, if they yeah. lie about their strokes, then they're going to lie to you in business. So I do yeah. use golf as that kind of a yeah. barometer. It's 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 uh, you know like what we golf need thing. is is, uh, is golf for handicapped people. David's because gonna play you that have, one. You, yeah, yeah, they're all handicapped. They're all handicapped. They're yeah. All, handicapped. <laughs> all right. So yeah, to answer your question, what, 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 what yeah, golf is my again, golf is yeah, my you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, so. yeah. And, and and also my my un, un, undisputed ability to listen to Stephen talking about golf. That's a, that's another. Handicap that's a handicap. Yeah. Well, you know, what can I tell you? It's like yeah. being married. So, All right, guys. Do we want to go into Donald Trump and his popularity according to the articles no, that we no, we, we want to talk about else? golf. We oh, I'm about okay golf. with that. So. <laughs> <laughs> We to talk about Donald golf. Trump. Do Donald Trump. He gets more and more um, uh, popular. Yeah. Yes. Why? With all, How? With all Donald, How? With all, well, he, with all he has his own golf. Trouble. He has his own golf club. That's well, what he has it is. a bunch of. He has a bunch of golf clubs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but... uh, well, he has one in Scotland. Yeah, but Jamie Kennedy or Kelly, I'm sorry, out of the Financial Times wrote an article two days ago. This is what Roll and I were talking about the other day. That basically said with all of Trump's problems and with all of his being accused of trying to overthrow the government and his this and his that and his lying and his cheating and his the list goes on, his popularity in the polls keep going up. Mr. Woods. Yeah, but what about but what about <laughs> America? It's not you can't just be popular in Poland. <laughs> so yes. It's very simple. Um it's very simple. Um, Morton Wine is becoming popular. Um, this isn't a joke inside. I think um, the US, like many countries around the world, the uh, first world countries, right? Anyway, um, and maybe this one too. Um, people are just, there's, there's a fed upness in the world. People are just fed up with being told. Yeah. I'm not right. talking about the, the loud media types, no, I'm talking about the ordinary man in the street who's just fed up. Was being told what he has to do, how he should say it, yeah. what he should fit in. How he he, they're just across the world, you find people that are fed up with it, they're sick of it. And if you take that feeling, plus the idea that America is a, is a relatively young country, it's like two, three hundred years old, it's, it's, um, it's got a lot of immigrants from Europe and wherever, people who said, um, to hell with you, and they went to America with this this, this gung ho attitude, and it, it, it infiltrates the culture of the country. We're going to do this. We're going to put a man on the moon. We can do that. Don't tell us we can't do anything. We're number one, and people like that. Yeah. People like a winner. 
So if you take that plus the fed upness, Donald Trump embodies that for most Americans. He is that. He's that guy. If they're sick of things, he's the guy that says it. And he gets away with it. And they like that. It's got no, it's got less to do with Trump than what he's just allowing people just to put out there. And they just that's what they like about him. It's simple. It's a very simple thing. And if you look across the aisle. This is not whether I agree or disagree, by the way. This is just what is. People respond to feelings. They vote with feelings. And they look at someone like Biden, who, uh, you know, you can think what you like. I'm not, I'm, I'm not putting an opinion here. But he is, he comes across as a little old, a little, uh, he's trying to trying to keep everybody happy. And, th- I mean, this is the guy who's who, who likes Trump. He looks at Biden and he says, this guy just wants to keep everybody happy. He's old, he's frumpy, he's whatever. Then you look across the aisle and you see Trump just banging his little drum and saying, ah, screw you. And they like that. They like that. People, whether you like it or not, they just like that. They like that gun on yeah, Screw you. Yeah, screw you. Yeah. They like it. That's that's why he's, at the moment, in my view, he, unless they convict him, he's got a good shot. I'm telling you now. He represents something for people. I don't agree with him, but that's I'm not the voter. He, he represents. He represents. He represents an, I know. I know. Mort wants to say something. But in America, he yeah, re, yeah. he represents anarchy, right now. Yeah, that's what he represents. And that's what want. Yeah, apparently. The second thing. Yeah, I'm not saying I agree with him, but if if you if you want to unseat him, if you want to <laughs> remove his popularity, you have to understand what it is about him that's appealing, and come up with your own plan. And that's not happening. That's not happening. I don't see it happening. Sorry, right. just don't. I agree. I mean, it's not, but it is what it is. No, no, no I agree. That's why. Oh. More than you're a politician. What do you? Yeah, think? yeah, yeah. Well, I agree uh, a lot with Rual, uh, as uh, his name sh- should be uh, pronounced. Um, I think that in in America, you you should have much younger uh, uh, politicians because. Right. Uh, when when people are you know all the way back from uh, Nixon and whoever you know you never had anyone below fifty did you or no. yeah well well you had uh, Obama. we had Obama we had Obama and yeah, JFK yeah, yeah, those yeah. are the two young ones yeah. and Clinton and Bill Clinton yeah yeah but Clinton smoked cigar you know so well that's was... why we like him because he smoked cigars yeah, yeah, yeah. put them <laughs> to get them moist he put them somewhere. So we like of that. Course, but, 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 but what, okay. what, Ruhal, what Ruhal is emphasizing and saying is that people are p- people are fed up with politicians because politicians lie all the time, and right. and people are going. Uh, they are showing uh, politicians uh, the way out uh, in, into um, uh, a show, maybe. Uh, you know, right. they, 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 it's show business. It's, it's not, uh, right. it's, it's not politics anymore. No, nope. but to, to, to both your points, I agree. I think there's got to be a point. Like we have people on the Supreme Court that are like 800 years old, and it's like enough's enough. Like there's got to be a point where you have to step down. Same with the president. I mean, it's great that you're in your seven. And listen, you may be as sharp as a tack, but it's not perceived that way. The problem with Biden and Trump is they're both in their seventies, close to 80. Um, you know, the other problem is, is that depending on who wins this election, and we've talked about this on another show we have, is that you're going to have, whether you have a a all out civil war or you're going to have a riot somewhere, because if Biden wins, Trump's going to go, Oh, look what happened again. Yada, yada, yada. I think he's getting he has less supporters on the yada yada yada. Let's take over the government because now all those people that tried January six are going to jail, and people are like, "Oh wait, the government's still intact, right?" Um, the flip side of it, if if he wins, I think you're going to have a lot of people that have you know have wronged him in his mind, and I think they're going to go after go after him. Like he's going to go after them. He's going to make a vendetta, a vendetta, right? Like I have to get after you, like the mafia. Um, and unfortunately, or fortunately for him, his mafia, and depending on who runs, if you will, the agencies, the FBI, the CIA, and all this stuff, they can ruin your life, right? Yeah. So it's going to be one of these things where, I'm, and then you have like the generals and all these other people. So it'll be very interesting to see if he wins and tries to yeah. pull 
a coup on America, what all these people will do. You know, if the generals let him get away with it, I guess it, it is what it is. But like during the riots, I was shocked that they didn't like he told the military they had to stand down. And I'm surprised that someone didn't say, like, this is bullshit. You're trying to overrule or overrun yeah. our country. We have yeah. to step in. And so and my point or my question is, at what point does someone step in and go, no, no, uh, enough's enough. And the other thing is we only have two parties. We don't have a third. Yeah, like and, if someone and... is an independent and he could run for president and he's like 40 years old and knows what he's doing. The, the electoral college that we spoke about last time won't even notice that he's a, a candidate. It'll be like, hey, you get 85 million votes, but nobody cares. So yeah. I think that has a lot to do with it. Like, I think our political system needs a whole new revamping and it just can't yeah. be two parties anymore. It needs to be however many parties. I think you need to get rid of the electoral college. I think it's useless. I think you literally need to make it. It's a popular vote. You get 100 million votes. You're the president. But the politics in 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 America, as I right. know it from viewing it from outside, it's so narrow. It's not that far away from the Democrats and 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 the Republicans, mm. really. Right. In in yeah. our view, uh, in other countries, there are broader. You know, it's uh, the, the left and the right, right is much further away. So. How it is now? It's it's comme ci comme ça, you know, like in French. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the same. You can't tell the know. difference. There's no no, there's no difference here between a Republican and a Democrat. They still yeah. they're both spewing crap. It's just different yeah. crap. But at the end of the day, like one's A and one is Z, but they meet in the it's middle. So if you really listen to what they're saying, they're saying the same crap. One just says it like your 105 year old, you know, grandmother or grandfather. And one says it like he's a 14 year old. And at the end of the day though, that's it. But the, the other thing that they're doing is they're not really trying to help the country. It's like McConnell, right? He did his little freeze thing last week for 30 seconds. I'm like, dude, you're a hundred years old. You look like a turtle. It's time for you to go. It's once again, politicians should not be in office for life. This is no. not a dictatorship. It's not, a, it, we're, there's no Kings and Queens. It's literally, you should be, it should be like the president. You're two terms. You want to be in the Senate four terms? That's great. Congress four terms, you're done. Then let somebody else with new, fresh blood come in and help. The problem is that we have this old guard that doesn't really give a shit about America. What they care about is that they line their pockets with whatever money they get, whatever freebies yeah. they get, and they don't do anything. And the handful of politicians that do do something, unfortunately, useless. Because they can't get everybody behind them. And once in a while, they throw them an attaboy. So that what the founding fathers set up, if you will, here, where one, one person, one vote, everybody, did, that's gone. This is like, it's a popularity contest. And if, and if I get elected to the Senate or the Congress, and I can keep winning my district, and I can make my special interest groups like me, they'll send me all around the world on trips. Yeah. I get this, I get that. So this is basically now just a bunch of bull. Like our whole system needs to be kind of redone, I think. So what But about what, what about know? Norway, Morton? What's that? What's the situation there? Well, we we think that we have a democracy. We we don't, but it's uh, it's much better than uh, most of the other countries uh, around us. Uh, I have to say, but we we have our problems, and uh, but but we have a, a kind of more and more american way you know because people are uh, dealing and wheeling much more now than only for 10 15 20 years ago so yeah. I, i strongly believe in Stephen that this is a global thing yeah. uh before and i am in my municipality i'm i'm running up for uh, a mayor on uh, monday is election oh, wow. yeah so so and And I'm saying I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for the community. Right. I, I don't want to go higher up. I, I, I've been higher up. I, I don't want to go back because it's only uh, uh, come on. It's it's the the higher you get, the more risk of well, if you uh, if you can vote for me in this case, I will vote for you in in right, your right. case la later on. And uh, 
uh, come come join me on 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 the hotel and let's have a party and and right. uh, I can hack up some you know it's it's crazy it's ha- we have to go back to the genuine democracy right and not not many country has it no i agree with that and i think we've lost it china does a good job with it though i think china does a good job with the way they have democracy so i'm happy with that can i go back morton did you say morton did you say that you you put yourself up for for election for mayor is that correct yeah Yeah, because um i'm I'm far away from being mayor i I was i was nearby uh, for uh, four years ago uh, then I, I I had most uh, uh, I had twenty two point one percent. So, uh, but this this year it's going to be lower. But I I, I don't care. Uh, it's not the it's not the competition of being um, uh, best. Or you know you 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 want to do something for for the people you have around you, and if they don't want you. Then you should be happy and just say, "Well, maybe I come back. Maybe I know, don't come back." As long as you people are happy, fine. Yeah. My my opinion. Yeah. So yeah, who's, who's the right. front? Who's the front runner then? If it's not you, if that's a, somebody from the right or from the left? It's uh, really for the for for the left now. No, no, for for, yeah. for the right. For 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 the right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, it go, goes around. I've been uh, around on rallies every day now, so I'm, uh, I'm 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 stupid in my head. I always was, but I won't compromise. That's why I am a annoying politician. I w- I will not compromise. Maybe a bit, of course, if if we can see that we we have a solution together with with another party, of course, but. The general things you can't just compromise. You, uh, then everything is is compromised, and we don't have a democracy. The people who voted for me, they need to know that they can trust what I told them before they voted. Yeah, but that but I'm, that's I'm, part of the issue, right? People don't trust their politicians anymore. Because no. they've been lied to so often. Like, vote for me, I'm going to do this. Vote for me, I'm going to do that. And then when they get in, it's like, what did you do? And then I think that has a lot to do with it. It's crazy. It's crazy. We, we, we have to go way back, way back to, to, to the Greece, uh, you know, to, to, to the new. Uh, we have to create a new de- democracy model. In, in, in all countries that that people and, and I like Switzerland you know uh, right. where they have the cantons and and the people are going to the squares and you know I or no and, and things like that but I have to say what amuses me as you have said before Stephen is is um, in in um, in UK what, what what you have there at least you have some action. Uh, right. In, in, yeah. in, 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 parliament. in, in the parliament. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, see, the but, funny uh, thing but, is, they, we, we have it in the United States, except they don't broadcast it all the time, right? When they argue with each other, it's like they don't do But I, the UK one, I've been watching it since I'm a kid. I must have been five or six when I first flipped on PBS and they had the guys in the parliament. <laughs> and I just like it when he says, and my good sir, blah, 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 you dirty scumbag and you sleep with my wife. But this is what, and I'm like, I love these guys. It was sort of like a very, you know, backhanded. And I was like, I love it. So to me, it was great. So I don't know. But I, you know. Stephen, I have one question for you. Sure. How do you, how do you recruit new politicians in America? You know, um, I was recruited when I was 13 in, right. in, into, into politics. And I, and I did my school to, to I was, uh, you know, I was brainwashed, obviously, right. uh, but I get out of it, so uh, it, it's okay. But I learned a lot, like like, like a young uh, guy. But right. if you're not able to have any positions before you're 82, it has to be very boring. In, 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 uh, yeah. how, how, how do you recruit new people? They don't, there's no, it's not like a recruiting process. It's what happens is, is you, I literally, people wake up one day and they go, I want to, no, it's not even that. 
some people wake up one day and they'll and they'll run for like the local government with city council or a mayor or a state senator or whatever and it's sort of like i i want to make a change and they get into it to do something and then what okay. happens is to your point is they go from city council to mayor to state then they go to the federal level and then all of a sudden as, as to your point as you get higher they learn that ooh i make more whatever i make on the side or this and that and i can go this or you know all these consulting firms are like oh you're you're a politician when you're done come work for us we'll pay you a half a million dollars a year to be a lobbyist right so some of them start off with great intentions and i think they get to a point where they're like oh wait a minute so and so is offering me to be a lobbyist for five hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, and then you know it's all it becomes a stepping stone. Where I think, and let's say that's, and I could be wrong. Ninety percent of them think like that. There's probably ten percent that really do want to change. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, the better. Yeah. That's kind of what I see when I listen and read stuff. How how are things uh, in 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 Rural's uh, country? <laughs> in South Africa. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In the what country? In South Africa, and in, in that country. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I, I'm. I was in a discussion with someone today. We've got elections coming up next year, and there is a. a there will be. A, there is a the population. The people of the country um, want something different. The problem, um, as has been seen throughout Africa, is that there is a tremendous amount of corruption. I mean, we just had it yeah. in Zimbabwe. Right. Uh, there's a woman who works for me. She does some, uh, she does some driving for me and stuff. And she's from Zimbabwe. And if anyone's watching this, she does have a legal permit. Um, yes, she. She's, I said to her, so how do you feel about what just happened in your country? You just got a, you, the guy's been voted in again. Right. And she said to me, she said, the opposition fellow, um, Okay, so the, the president of Zimbabwe, if anybody cares, is a guy called Nangago. I know. It's a mouthful I had to pray. So he's there. Uh, he's 80 years old, Steve. He's yep. 80 years ah. old. Right, there he is. He's still there. He was, uh, I think he was Robert Mugabe's uh, vice president. Anyway, he's there. Ah. He's sidekick. So he's been put in again. Surprise, surprise. So I said, well, what happened? So she said, well, after, the, after election day, uh, they tallied up the votes. And the opposition guy, a guy called Chamisa, actually had more votes, and they were about to declare it. The the, <laughs> yeah. the, the ruling party, the ruling party, allegedly. I, I, I just preface it by saying this is all allegedly, but it right, does right. make sense because I do know they extended voting for another day. And you thought, why would they do that? So by the end of the second day, what do you know? The voting numbers had changed. Back in favor of the president. <laughs> um, Surprise. We, Surprise. We are concerned here. Um, South Africa is a little different. Even that says Africa in the name, it's quite different um, from the rest of Africa. There, there are many reasons I can explain that. If you, if you want to uh, see a very tangible example of why the country is different, I mean, you can look at the history and so forth. But um, I had a friend... Uh, who had a logistics company, used to truck, send trucks up into Africa. And he had a giant map of Africa in his office. And uh, it was in, an infrastructure map with the roads, the highways, the rail networks. South Africa was this dense little spider web down the bottom, and then it just did that. So ah, it's, quite yeah. diff it's quite different. It's quite different to the rest of Africa. And the reason I say that is because we have a situation where There is a, a brand new population, all sub-30, that don't know anything about apartheid. They're not worried about the past. I'm hoping they're greedy. Why am I hoping they're greedy? Because I want people in this country to be greedy and vote selfishly. I know that sounds odd, but I want them to do that. Instead of worrying about wow. loyalty, instead of loyalty, what do I need? What do I need for my family? What do I need for myself? What is important to me? Okay. Selfish. Think of myself. And there are a lot of kids that are starting to do that in the country, the, 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 in the majority. So they never lived under apartheid. They have, they have lived free, as they call them. And there is the sense that they want this old guard out. The problem is, a lot of them that I've spoken to don't believe that even if 
the opposition or one of the opposition or probably a coalition. We're looking at a, a coalition in this country. Morton, I would imagine you probably know a little bit about this, but we've got yeah. a coalition politics is where yeah. South Africa not only will head but should head. But they're concerned that the ANC are not going to allow that. They're going to bend the rules and change things. And there's high level of depression here about that. People are quite concerned about that. Uh, I think I think the mood of the country has changed. I think people want this old guard out. They're sick and tired of the corruption, the thievery. You see, the ANC were a liberation organization. They were yeah, the first party after apartheid. So they came in, Mandela was part of it. Everybody was very happy. Hell, I voted for the ANC in the first election. I thought this is good for the country back in 94. But they have turned into a, a money-grabbing criminal organization. Yeah. And I'm yeah. sorry, that is just what has happened. And they've ensured that they've stayed in office. They've aligned the country with people uh, with, you know, I mean, look what's going on in, 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 the, in Ukraine and so on. And we've had the BRICS uh, uh, nations here. And we are aligning with people like China, Russia, Iran. I mean, what, what, mm -hmm. these are not trading partners. They're not interested in helping us. Um, no. Europe and America is, is where our money is. These are our trading partners. And we've got the strangest people in office who seem more concerned about old allegiances. You see, the ANC were um, aligned with the Soviet Union back in the day, who were very mm -hmm. interested in uh, getting rid of apartheid. It served their interests. And the world wanted apartheid gone. So that worked. That was fine. But when the ANC got in office, as Morton will tell you, it's one thing to fight, you want to be in office, but be the boss. Right. It's very different. And you've yeah. got to know how to run a country. It's not about liberating, it's about administrating. And they've never yeah. been able yeah. to administer. Yeah. And this is the problem we have. I'll just give you one example of the kind of thing we have. Uh, we've got this electricity crisis in South Africa, which is interesting. Because 20 years ago, our, our electricity supply commission called ESCOM, was voted the best electricity supply company on the planet. They won wow. some award in New York 20 years ago. So in 20 years, they've gone from top to bottom because it's been pillaged, it's been looted, the money has yeah. been handed out amongst friends, and we, we have a situation now where um, we, we need power, and Turkey, for example, have said, we'll help you, we'll help you, and they've sent these giant boats off the coast of South Africa that are going to generate power. And, of course, the environmentalists are not happy about it. So what, is, what they've done, Turkey or the car power ship people have bought game farms, game um, 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 like game reserves, like parks right. in the KZN province. And they've said, right, well, we've bought those game farms and those guys are supporting us. It's blatant bribery. It's unbelievable. So they're not going to get the deal unless they get the support of the environmentalists. So they're literally buying them. And they're, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's extraordinary. That's just one little, mm. and most mm -hmm. people here are fed up. I think we will have a change, but unlike Europe and America, where I, I think the elections are a lot more transparent, right. we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen here. Even if they lose the election, they're still gonna win. Well, that was evidence that is and that was all in the Financial Times. That's why when you're talking about it, I'm chuckling because I was at that they were saying it's like it's amazing how you go from like you know 50 million to 100 million overnight. It's like Putin when he last time he yeah. won the, the election in Russia, right? He had less vote, but he won. It's good when you're a dictator, <laughs> like Mel Brooks's movie in History of the World Part One, right? It's good to be king. So you know, I think it's mm. very nice when 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 you have over 100 uh, percent of 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 yes, the vote. that's a that's a good one too. Yes. If you get over 100 percent, I think that's important. It's good yes, that 700. Yes. It's it's good when you have a population of 100 million and 145 million people vote you into yes. office. That's very Steve. important. Woo. Dave, yeah. Dave, a couple of years ago, before this Zimbabwe, the new chap came in. Robert Mugabe held an election. He was the previous president of Zimbabwe. Yeah. There was no opposition. There was no opposition. No. No, he no, ran no, no, the election no. and he was the only candidate. And he said, I got 97% yeah. of the vote. And I thought, yeah. Who got the 3%? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, 
They were they were awesome. they were sleeping in the voting day or something. But d d David, uh, how is the Netherlands doing? How's it? Yeah, the well, they're, they're coming up for an election, I think, in November, and it looks very yeah. much yeah that the, the, the same the same issues that you know. Um, They've taken a lot of people out of low wages and have given them uh, better unemployment, uh, better better pensions. But of course, by doing that, the middle uh, earners, middle class, yeah. are actually seeing their income squeezed because it has to come from yeah. somewhere. So yeah. there's this this huge um, yeah feeling of discontent. Again, feeling of change. Well, they had Margaret. He was he was prime minister here for for twelve years. They called him Teflon Mark because nothing stuck. Um, yeah, exactly. And um, so, and it looks very much as if they're going to be going towards a centralist party. Um, okay. uh, and again, it'll be it'll be a coalition. And and it peeves me really as a diehard Democrat. And I don't mean that in the in a political sense, but more of a in a philosophical sense that. That you, I've seen democracy work here with 28 parties in the parliament. Uh, I've said it wow. before. You know, um, it's 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 like a horse with three legs. It moves, but it goes around in circles. Gentlemen, so, I have to take a call. Can I just? I'm, I'm just going to mute yes. a second. We'll mute you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. There we'll you go. He's, we'll he's go on to, to pause. Pause now. <laughs> there's no there's no pause. We'll see if he comes back no in time pause. for the end of the show. <laughs> So this is what you see. This is what happens. You get a big celebrity, and all of a sudden his agent's calling because he's got something more he's important to do. So there you go. So yeah, yeah. Just, just like just like politicians. I you yeah, know, just like all politicians. of you guys. So it, look, just like so it looks pretty much here as if it's going to be um, another, another coalition government, and I think it'll probably be slightly left of center. Okay. As opposed to being very much right of center, the Christian Democrats of the CDA, CDR here, CDA, Christian Democratic Alliance, they've just they've just lost it completely. It's um, you know they're just crumbling. Um, so because they had this big movement here called the Farmers uh, Defense, oh, the, the the Farmers Party, because of mm -hmm. all the issues with the nitro nitrogen here, and of course, and the, and uh, the, yeah. Just to all these people who normally traditionally uh, Christian Democrats would have voted for, uh, or farmers would have voted for the Christian Democrats, they've all moved across mm -hmm. to this new party. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's interesting. There's no side to watch it all happening, but um, yeah, it um, again is, is uh, I think uh, both Stephen and Enrolls very eloquently put it. You know, the, they're not listening. Nobody's been listening to the common man no, for the last no, twelve no. years. And, and, you know, and, and unless somebody picks this up and does something constructive with it, the next, yep. the next stage is anarchy. Yeah. Because people are not going to go through another 12 years of this. I and, see uh, the, uh, I, I see the movie Mad Max in, in, yep. in my dreams, you know, the, yep. all, all the movies, Mad Max, it's, it's going to end that way. If we, if we don't wake up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree with that. Well, with that, gentlemen, let's just say this, that next week we will have a merch store for no snobs or knobs and people can buy and David will show pictures next week, merchandise with glasses and baseball caps and all that cool wow. stuff. So we'll show that to, our, yeah, yeah, to the fans. And then at some point we'll actually get it out to all of us. So that'll be kind of cool. So, and remember wow. where every, our show is every half of fortnight, not a full fortnight now <laughs> going forward. It's every half yeah. fortnight. Well, we should we should so, have, we should call it the half a fortnight show. It's, uh, that's what it's called. <laughs> like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll have, we'll have to do that. Be, that. A half a fortnight. A half a fortnight. Yeah, you know, <laughs> a little play on words. Thought, yeah, but yes, we should thought, do that. We should we should yeah. we should come up with a show now and call it the half a fortnight show. Not this show because yeah. no snobs or knobs. I like that title. So yeah. you know, so we got to keep no so, snobs or knobs. Let's 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 so. make let's make a note of that. The next show on the uh, Two O F Entertainment Channel will be uh, you know half of half a half a half a half a fortnight. Half a fortnight. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, gentlemen, it's always a pleasure for everyone listening or watching, depending on where you get this. We're on every podcast where you can find podcasts. We're on YouTube. Yeah. Soon to be on some other channels. However, don't forget to subscribe and like. It helps the channel out. If there's a subject you'd like us to talk about, please put the comments in the comments section. Yeah. And if you would like to be a and guest and you're a guest of, of knowledge, let us know. We'd love to have you. And there's just, there's so. still, there is some merch now available, some exclusive. Uh, NSOK merch will be available, and I hope they will put that in the um, in the link. And and and, uh, and one or two items will be coming on um, regularly, I think, between now and the next uh, next fortnight. The so next the next half, half a fortnight. Uh, half a fortnight. Half a fortnight. Yeah. So uh, I want one of those. Okay, we'll make sure <laughs> David will make sure that happens. Don't worry about it. Yeah, All right, yeah, listen, yeah. everybody. We'll see more. We'll see you next Saturday. Everybody, we'll yeah. see you next Saturday. And of course, hang out because we have to talk after the show. But you guys can't hear what we talk about. So we'll yeah. see everybody oh, next uh, week. Um, Cheers. Roll to come straight back in.